All right, back on the trail, man. Huh? I am out today, right now, starting at Judge Magny State Park. Oop, I'm going the wrong way already. <laughs> and uh, today's hike is the lake walk section that I've been waiting to do pretty much since I started the Spear Hiking Trail. Uh, brings you right down along the lake for about a mile. And there's some canoe and campsites on the lake, so I plan on staying at one of those. And uh, it's only about four miles, maybe four and a half miles, I think five actually, to where I'm gonna stay. Oh, we got some grouse right here already. I should probably keep my distance. I've already been attacked by one grouse. You hear him whining. He's kind of mad that I'm here. <laughs> But uh, then it's about four miles out in the morning, maybe four and a half miles, something like that. So not a long hike today. So I kind of start a little bit later. It's about 11.30 or noon, I think. But it's about 70 degrees out here today. So it's just a beautiful day. But uh, what do you say we uh, hit this trail and get her done? Decided to stop at the uh, South Little Brule River campsite just for a little break and a snack. And uh, it's a nice campsite. Out of the three campsites on the Brule River here, this is probably tied with the uh, North Brule River campsite. That was a nice one too. The Northeast Brule River campsite had one level tent pad and that was pretty much it. And it wasn't really big. So um, this one definitely, there's actually a tent pad right here in front of me with the kind of the camera sitting. A uh, couple up there by the fire pit. The only downfall is the Brule, little Brule River right now is very dry. I mean, it's just little pools of water along the river and there's not really much movement at all. Not even like the sound of a trickling stream. It's just silent, <laughs> which is kind of weird, but uh, get that mosquito off of me. But it's a nice spot to take a little rest before I head down to the lake. And uh, I wanted to kind of share my light weighs almost nothing snack, whatever almost nothing weighs. Uh, I got these, it's like Fruity Pebble crisps. They're almost like rice cakes. Here, let me get up to the camera and I'll kind of show you. Yeah, so 
they weigh almost nothing. Like I said, whatever almost nothing weighs. And uh, it's like fruity pebbles, but in a crisp. And it's uh, pretty good. But I'm gonna sit here and take five or 10. It's only like one o'clock, I think. Maybe not even that. Might be about one. I think it's right around one o'clock. But uh, not much further to go. So I guess I'll take a little break here and back on the trail. I made it down to the lake walk <laughs> it's just beautiful down here it's like 75 i think degrees out here 76 degrees out here on the on the lake i mean it might as well be 95 the lake doesn't never see 75 degrees like this with no wind it is beautiful you just can't have a better spot to sit and take a break relax it is beautiful out here let me show you break here at the lake walk i didn't realize i was sitting right literally on the other side of this bush right here i was kind of sitting right here <laughs> and right here is one of the canoe in campsites so uh it was right here in front of the island <laughs> um and then what you see up here i kind of have to go across all the rock and kind of along the shore right there is the trail and uh, i know a couple years ago the lake was actually pretty high this time of year um, where all this rock that you see behind me, all this stuff, was all underwater. People uh, were starting to make a trail through the woods that I kind of already checked out and looked. There's a trail that goes through the woods behind you here that um, people use for when the lake is too high to hike along the lake here, but not this year. This year it's perfect. So, uh, definitely a fun and interesting part of the trail. Yeah. 
Well, I'm doing fine so far. Yeah, the lake walk section is a little bit harder than, than most just because you're sinking into the rocks with every step, but I'm going so slow looking for agates and sea glass and stuff like that. You know, I just not really trying to hike or walk fast enough for it's a problem for me at all. Uh, it's beautiful out here though. My gosh. I mean, what a trail. What trail do you know? Does this. I mean, just beautiful. I mean, this is 77 degrees, it says right now. I think it was 77.9. Yeah, 77.9. So we're looking at almost 78 degrees. Just a beautiful day out here. Just the slightest little, like, one mile per hour breeze. Maybe not even that. <laughs> I mean, I picked a great day for this lake walk. This is exactly how I wanted it to be. Nobody out here. It's uh, about 9.30ish and uh, I'm going to crash out so I can get up at a decent time kind of early and hit that four miles out in the morning and get out of here. It is still really bright at 9.30. Like I'm not even, I don't even have my, my light on or nothing. Here's my light on. <laughs> don't even need it. But um, yeah, great hike today. It was it got to like 74 degrees when I got to camp it was 74 degrees here so it was just a beautiful day on the lake here um and now it's about like 62 or 63 I think I just read at the thermometer so it's chilling down a little bit but it's still just beautiful I'm just gonna leave the tent open like this and listen to the Lake Superior the little tiny little waves hitting the shoreline so uh that's about it for tonight I'm gonna crash out and Catch y'all in the morning.
it's like uh, 5 30. I slept great. <laughs> I think the temperature is like 55 degrees right now, so it's not bad at all. But uh, the one downfall <laughs> of this campsite is that Highway 61 is right there. Right now it's quiet, and it's been quiet for a little bit, but around, gosh, I'd say 5, 4.30 or 5 in the morning, I felt like everybody was heading to work at 4.30 or 5 in the morning up here. Semis were going by, cars were going by constantly. Kind of woke me up, but I just kind of laid here and relaxed. I had a good night of sleep, so it wasn't horrible, but it's definitely loud with those cars and semis driving by, you know, maybe 100 feet away possibly could be 200 feet at the most i mean the highway is probably closer than the lake is <laughs> but i'm about to get up get this party started for the day lake walk this is the kind of the road that goes back there you kind of come out from the road and out onto highway 62 here and to tell you how dedicated of a hiker i really am i'll let you know my truck is about one mile that way but instead i'm heading across the street to that trailhead and go three miles up the hill and back down the hill down the Cadence River back to my truck. So, should be a. Uh, the only reason I'm even really doing this extra two miles through the woods <laughs> is uh, there's supposed to be a good overlook called Blueberry Overlook up here. So, I'm hoping it's a decent overlook and it's worth it because that's pretty much the only reason I'm doing this. <laughs> Otherwise, it's 15 minutes back to the truck. So, uh, hit this trail, this last remaining bit of the trail, see what she looks like. superior right out there so pretty good view so let's keep going see what it looks like up here Come to the Cadence River for a little break, but I mean, I get the message on here, but this literally looks like graffiti all over this tree when you come into the campsite. I mean, all this stuff do not harm me, do not take my bark, do not touch. You know, I get it, you just scraped it in, you didn't carve that in, but guess what? Now it looks like graffiti all over the Cadence River campsite sign. I don't know why people would do that. I mean, 
some people just don't think when they're doing stuff. <laughs> don't take my bark, but I'll graffiti all over the tree instead. All right, I'm taking a break right before I head down the Cadence River. I only have less than a mile left. And this is a nice campsite. It's a nice big tent pad right there. Nice big tent pad right there. That one's not completely level. That one's very level, but that one's doable. Plenty of hammock spots. Um, whoever does this trail today after me, coming southbound or northbound, I guess, you're welcome, you're welcome, and you're welcome. I cleared out probably 10,000 spider webs coming through the trail this morning. I mean, it was every one or two minutes. I'd clear them off my arms, clear them off my face, and the second I got done and put my arms down, walk through another one. So this morning I cleared out more spider webs than I've probably ever cleared out before on a trail. <laughs> it's, it was relentless. But uh, I'm gonna take a break here, get a little bit of liquid in me and Head on down the trail. All right, back on the trail, man, shit. Uh, Cadence campsite, that was a beautiful campsite. You got the sound of the Cadence River just right there. So, like I said, it was a nice campsite, plus you have the sound of the river right there. The river wasn't super close at the campsite, but close enough where was, you can hear it and it wasn't super difficult water to get to or anything like the Cascade River campsite <laughs> um, but yeah it was a good hike uh, it's, been, it's been a beautiful morning it's probably 55 degrees nope <laughs> 64 degrees <laughs> but uh just been beautiful out here the only problem has been the spider webs but other than that it's just beautiful and now I'm here at the Cadiz River, which we've all seen on my previous videos, but this is a section nobody has seen yet. So um, I'll take some little bit of a little bit of video of the river on the way out, and that'll be it. There's the bridge behind me. All right, this is where I got out of the Cadence River from my Cadence River hike. So uh, this is the end, my friends. This section is now in the books or on video. <laughs> uh, but the next section is going to be Judge Magnus State Park. So that should be a cool one. And that's my last state park on the Spear Hiking Trail, which is like kind of kind of cool, but kind of makes me sad. The trail's almost over. I have less than 30 miles left. So uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself when I get done. Probably start heading up farther north to the Boundary Waters or catching little tiny hikes here and there that I've been meaning to do, but didn't want to take a weekend off to do it. Cause when I wanted to, I'm constantly trying to finish this trail every weekend. But uh, keep it short and simple. That was it, great hike. Catch me on the next one. <laughs>